transforming civil registration, integrating social partnerships, investing in communities, and making our roads safer. The Office of the Prime Minister is steadfast in its thrust towards a people-centered digital society. Hear more from the Minister with Responsibility for Digital Transformation. In order to recraft and create a truly digital society, it has to start with the transformation of our civil registry. The design for the National Identification and Registration Authority, NIRA, has been submitted to Cabinet for approval. Once approved, the NIRA will manage the databases for the National Identification System and Civil Registration. Over at the Registrar General's Department, the RGD, customers can now access even more services online. They include getting an electronic burial order, applying for adoption certificates, and booking weddings. This move complements online application for genealogy research, as well as birth, death, and marriage certificates. Persons are also able to update records, correct an error, and input a late entry of name online. We're now moving to procure a new registration software, which for the first time in our history will link birth record to marriage record to deed poll to death records. Digitization efforts are also taking shape with the signing of a $4 million US dollar contract to digitize over 2 million RGD records. 40 graduates of the Heart NSTA HOPE program have been assigned to the project. And $6 million has been set aside for an ongoing training program targeting RGD staff who will oversee and manage new civil registration technologies. So far, 48 employees have benefited. Digitizing these paper records will yield significant benefits for Jamaicans. People will be able to obtain services at a much quicker rate, minimizing the need to search physical records and enhancing the efficiency of searches. The digital push has made its way to hospitals and birthing centers. Work is underway on a bedside registration app so mothers can leave with verifiable digital and electronic copies of their children's birth certificates. And just in time for Jamaica 60, the RGD will roll out its Operation Birthright Initiative in July. The $50 million program will provide free birth certificates to undocumented Jamaicans who live in households earning less than $37,000 monthly. Members of Parliament will kickstart the program by providing the names of 60 persons in their constituencies who fit the criteria. This is how you lay the foundation for a digital society. Now more than ever, Madam Speaker, we need partnership. This is why we have started the process to revamp the working of the National Partnership Council. With the imminent signing of a new four-year social partnership agreement, focus is being placed on people, planet, partnership, peace and prosperity. Another area of partnership is the National Road Safety Council. Through local, regional and international agencies, a comprehensive program is being hammered out to tackle motorcycle crashes. Training sessions and distribution of helmets are ongoing in the motorcycle crash hotspot areas of Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. Jamaica will be taking the safe systems approach as a guiding principle in our efforts to reduce the carnage on our roads. 25 of the 487 persons who lost their lives in road crashes in 2021 were children. The Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSIF, has stepped in with its introduction of the Safe Passage Initiative, which is ongoing in 13 schools. The multi-parish project improves infrastructure and roadways around schools in multiple communities to reduce accidents with our children. Over 7,000 persons will benefit. JSIF is also executing rehabilitation and upgrading projects in rural schools in Portland, St. Catherine and St. Thomas. Over at the Culture, Health, Arts, Sports and Education Chase Fund, learning devices, materials and scholarships are being provided to the education sector. $216 million will be set aside to upgrade and equip infant schools to meet the standards of the Early Childhood Commission. Money has also been set aside to fund the acquisition of equipment for health centers and hospitals. And in the financial year, Chase will complete performing arts centers at the St. Catherine High School and in downtown Kingston. Meanwhile, the Constituency Development Fund, the CDF, is now working with a revised operational procedure that ensures increased statutory and regulatory compliance. I'm pleased to advise that now a minimum of 25% of the Constituency Development Fund is invested in education activities. 
This amounts to $315 million annually. The fund has also begun the digitization of its documents and procured a software to manage monies it disperses to implementing agencies. The program will be rolled out later this year. We have accelerated the pace of action to get to where we need to be. We are transforming the lives of Jamaicans, making our lives easier and bringing us into a new reality with boundless possibilities. When we think digital, then and only then can we make it happen.